Good evening. Today is Thursday in the 16th week in Ordinary Time. Our evening prayer begins on page 449. O God, come to our assistance. O Lord, make haste to help us. Be present with us, Lord, for it is evening. The day which you have given us is nearly complete. Be our light and scatter the darkness from our midst. Hear us as we lift to you our evening prayer and praise. The day is now past and evening is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Everlasting God, every good and perfect gift comes from you. Send down upon your ministers and upon the congregations committed to their change a fresh rain of your blessing, and that they may truly please you, guide and direct their lives and their teaching by the, by the healthful spirit of your grace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our hymn this evening is hymn number 22, When Evening Comes, found on page 735. When evening comes, we turn to you, the maker of all things. We seek that peace and comfort which your kindness always brings. Protect us from all dangers now and all throughout the night, that we may rise once more with Christ, who is our truth and light. Give glory to the Father, who is source of all that is, Give glory to the Son who died, that we might all be His. Give glory to the Holy Ghost, whom they to earth do send. Give glory to our triune God, whose rule will never end. Our psalm this evening is Psalm 119. Lord, give me your unfailing love, the salvation that you promised me. Then I can answer those who taught me, for I trust in your word. Do not snatch your word of truth from me, for your regulations are my only hope. I will keep on obeying your instructions forever and ever. I will walk in freedom, for I have devoted myself to your commandments. I will speak to kings about your laws, and I will not be ashamed. How I delight in your commands, how I love them. I honor and love your commands. I meditate on your decrees. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading this evening comes in the first letter of Peter. You were cleansed from your sins when you obey the truth, so now you must show sincere love to each other as brothers and sisters. Love each other deeply with all of your heart, for you have been born again, but not to a life that will quickly end, your new life will last forever because it comes from the eternal living word of God. Christ Jesus, though he was God, did not think of equality with God as something to be grasped. Instead, he gave up his divine privilege. He took the humble position of a slave and was born in our human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death upon a cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and given him the name above all other names, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven on earth and beneath the earth, and every tongue confess to the glory of God the Father, Jesus Christ is Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the evening we call to you, O Lord. Be merciful and hear our prayer. Break down the walls which divide your church and reconcile us to yourself in the one body of your Son. Have pity on those who are destitute, fearful, and oppressed, and be their comfort in their time of trial. Free us from all bitterness, wrath, and anger, and help us to forgive others as you have forgiven us in Christ. Create in us hearts that are true, and renew within us a steadfast spirit. Be merciful to all who are dying this night, and fill them with your light, your peace, and your joy. Now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we boldly pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion on the way. Kindle our hearts and awaken hope, that we may know you as you are revealed in Scripture and in the breaking of the bread. Grant this for the sake of your love. Amen. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for it is you who will redeem me, O Lord, my God. Now, O Lord, dismiss your servants in peace, for your word has been fulfilled. Our eyes have seen the salvation you have displayed in the sight of all the people, a lie to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in his peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. May God's help remain with us always, and with our loved ones both near and far away. May God grant to us a quiet night and a peaceful death. May souls of the faithfully departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen. <laughs>